This is a T8 linear ballast bypass LED installation overview. It requires knowledge of fluorescent lighting fixtures and electrical systems. Of course, all Westinghouse T LED bulbs come with detailed instructions which can be found at our website www.westinghouselighting.com. Some of the tools you'll need are a multimeter, wire strippers, and wire cutters. Always make sure the power to the fixture is off. Remove bulbs and reflector. Check for continuity to see if the tombstones need to be replaced. In this example, they do. Cut all ballast wires. and remove the ballast. Remove the tombstone brackets. Remove the shunted sockets on both brackets. You'll need a multimeter to test continuity. A beep indicates continuity. Shunted sockets have continuity. For T-LED ballast bypass lamps, we need non-shunted sockets with no continuity. Since this is a two-lamp fixture, we'll need to jump the power from one tombstone to the next. Install the wires into the tombstone and install the tombstones on the bracket. Install incoming power supply into the tombstones and install bracket onto the fixture. Now it's time to reinstall the reflector. Place the sticker that is included with this product on wiring compartment cover or other conspicuous place on or inside of the fixture, making sure that it's visible during relamping. Only one end of the T-LED tube receives power. The powered end is indicated by mark with L and N on the tube itself. Install the lamps and turn the power back on. Remember, you must use ballast bypass lamps for any future lamp replacements, but no additional fixture rewiring is required. Enjoy the energy and cost saving benefits of your new T LED lamps for years to come.